ukanda wa mlima Kenya kuweza kutufahamisha kile ambacho kinajiri pale na ni wahusishe wa changanuzi wangu katika studio hii ni naye Steven Mwakesi ambaye vile vile ni kiongozi wa PEP na vile vile ni mtaalamu wa masuala ya sera za umma na vile vile naye Edwin Kegoli ambaye ni kiongozi wa vijana na vile vile ni mtaalamu wa masuala ya siasa nianze na wewe Mwakesi tumeona taifa kwamba kwangu mimi nikiliangalia na haya maandamano kuna baadhi ya sehemu ambazo maandamano yanaendelea baadhi ya sehemu hakuna maandamano baadhi ya sehemu ni kama wengine wanafikiria watafanya ma hawatafanya je kwa wewe tangu yaanze asubuhi taswira uliyoiona ni ipi Asante sana Suleiman. Uh, siku ya leo tulikuwa tumeambiwa kwamba uh, Raila alituhabiria kwa itakuwa ni siku ya kutingiza uh, nchi. Uh, wananchi watachokeza kwa wengi waje wafanye maandamano ili kuelekea kule state house ili kwenda kusema yale ambayo yameokwaza kama wananchi wa Kenya hii. Lakini kwangu mimi na mtazamo ambao nimeuona kwa sababu tuliambiwa tutaanza hii kazi ya maandamano saa kuna mbili asubuhi, sasa imefika saa sita na bado hakuna lolote tunaliona ni viongozi wawili watatu wanaonekana wakizua rabsha hapa mjini Nairobi e, na pia kule Kisumu ambapo waliamua kweli kwao watafunga maneno yao. E, nchi yetu yote bado inakaa iko na amani watu wengi ambao wamejitokeza kufanya biashara zao katika sehemu tofauti tofauti za nchi ni hapa tu Nairobi katika pale katikati ya jiji ambapo tunaona kwamba hakuna mambo yote na inaenda kueleza kwamba eh, huyu kinara wa eh, azimio eh, Raila Odinga hakuweza kueleza kwa kina kwa wananchi ni kwa sababu gani anaenda kufanya maandamano maandamano haya hakuweza kuuzwa vyema kwa wale ambao walikuwa wanataka kuwauzia kwa sababu wakenya wengi wanaketi wakijiuliza je Tulifanya uchaguzi ndio kukafanya uamuzi ndio kukakuwa na rais akaapishwa ndio baada ya miezi saba toja kuzungumza nini tena kuhusu mambo ya eh, uchaguzi lakini kama ni maandamano ya chakula labda wangefikiria lakini sasa Raila naye alikuja akageuza akaweka mchanganyo maalum katika mambo yake wakenya wamekosa sasa namna ya kujua je wataandamana kwa sababu gani na ndio maana naona ni kama haya maandamano ya siku ya leo hayajafanikishwa vile Raila Odinga alikuwa anaona mtazamo wake utaweza kuwa pia tunaongea kuhusu maandamano na wale ambao wanaonekana walisema watakuwa mstari wa mbele wa kuongoza maandamano haya haonekani itakuwaje basi mtu atatoka nyumbani ama awache kazi zake aende kufuata watu ambao wanasema waende maandamano na wao wenyewe hawako katika ulingo wa mbele wa kwenda kuonyesha maandamano haya yanaelekea wapi na mujibu wake ni upi kwa hivyo kwa mtazamo wangu nimeona ni kama shughuli hii yote ndio imetutatiza imetu na ni jambo ambalo lazima tuketi chini na tumulize bwana Raila na kikundi chake je mnataka hii nchi itakuwa siku gani wapo kama kila siku tutaweza kusimamisha kazi yetu watu wasiende kazini watoto wasiende shuleni e, kwa sababu ya ma mambo ambayo wangeweza kutafuta e, njia mwafaka ya kuketi chini na kuyazungumza basi masuala yao yangesikizwa rais amesema ako tayari kuwasikiza kwa nini basi wangechukua mto huo kusema watu warudi kazini na waende kuzungumza na e, rais e, William Ruto na ku, kumaliza mambo haya. Mambo kama haya sasa yanatukwamisha kiuchumi na tumetoka mahali ambapo palikuwa pagumu miaka mbili ambayo imepita tumemalizana tu na janga la Covid na sasa tuko hapa tumesimamisha siku zima katika Kenya hii na watu wako njaa ingekuwa ni bora zaidi kama tungetumia zile fedha zote ambazo zinatumika leo kuweka askari kule nje na kuturusha matia gas pesa hizo zingetumika kusaidia wananchi ili kujikuza na kujiendeleza kwa hivyo tumekosa mwelekeo maandamano haya kwa na mwelekeo na sioni ni kama wamepata ile jambo walikuwa wanajaribu kuona watapata kwa paka wakati huu sijui kutakuwa kuta na nini baada ya masaa mawili matatu lakini kwa sasa sijiona ni kama wamefanikisha ile lengo lao walikuwa nalo asubuhi uh, kegoni unaona unatabasamu unaona ni kama labda una wazo ping, uh, wanzo tofauti na lake uh, kwa sababu kwa mimi naona malengo ya maandamano ni kukwamisha mambo kadha wa kadha na hadi kufikia sasa wao kama upinzani wamekuamisha mambo kadha wa kadha wamelazimisha serikali kuwazuia watu kibera kwenda kutoenda barabarani ama kutoenda kwenye haya maandamano. Kwa hiyo kutoka asubuhi paka sasa hivi hali inavyoendelea, je unadhani wamefaulu ama wanaelekea kufaulu kwa lile ambalo walikuwa wanataka kulifanya leo? Asante sana. Kwa majina naitwa Edwin Kegoli na vile jinsi nilivyosema mimi ni mtaalamu wa sera na siasa na vile vile mfanyikazi katika kampuni ya Cam Recoveries. Nisema kwamba taswira ya leo ni kwamba azimio walikuwa wame 
andaa siku ya leo ili kuweza kwenda kuandaa maandamano na kupeleka waraka wao katika state house ama ikulu yetu hapa jijini Nairobi na hadi kufikia sasa ni sema ya kwamba bado siku ingali changa na Raila Odinga mwenyewe hatujamuona kikuja wazi wazi uh, kuweza kuongoza waandamanaji katika hali hii ya kuandamana lakini ni sema ya kwamba maybe wakati ambapo utakuwa unasonga tutakuwa tunamuona Raila Odinga akiweza kujitokeza na kuongoza wafuasi wake katika jumba la KICC jinsi walivyokuwa wakisema na katika state house uh, ili kupeleka waraka wao na na nataka nirudi kwa ku, ku, kusikia kauli zako lakini kwanza nataka niungane na mwanahabari wetu uh, Beldin Waliaula ambaye yuko katika kituo cha polisi cha Central aweze kutufahamisha ni kipi kinachoendelea pale maana kuna baadhi ya viongozi wamekamatwa asubuhi mapema wakitaka kushiriki katika maandamano walipokuwa wanajiandaa Beldin Waliaula kipi kinajiri sasa hivi katika kituo hicho cha polisi Kujambo yeri tuko hapa katika kituo cha polisi cha Central Police Station ambapo viongozi wa azimio ambao walikuwa naongoza maandamano asubuhi ya leo katika jumba la KICC walifikishwa hapa mapema mwendo wa saa 4 asubuhi huyo ni Senator Stewart Masayo pamoja na mbunge Opio Wandai ambao walikamatwa mapema hii leo wakiongoza maandamano katika jumba la KICC walifikishwa hapa katika uh, kituo cha polisi cha Central Police Station ambapo tunarithiwa kwamba kwa sasa hawako hapa wamechukuliwa kapeleka kwingine na tunaambia kwamba Uh, kwa sasa wako katika makao makuu ya DCI na watakuwa na piana watakuwa wazungumzia na wanahabari hapo baadaye kwa hivyo uh, mwenzangu Grasinganga atakuwa anaelekea pale makao ya DCI kutueleza wabunge uh, hao pamoja na santa huyo kama bado bado wameshikwa ama wameachiliwa huru lakini kwa sasa uh, hali ni tulivu hapa katika kituo cha polisi cha, cha Central Police Station kwa sasa ni magari tu ya polisi ambayo yanaingia kwa wingi uh, muda si mrefu labda utaona magari mawili magari yakiingia katika kitu hiki kuleta tu wale waandamanaji wa, 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 ambao wameshikwa wengi wao wanafikishwa hapa na kuingizwa hapa uh, na kufungiwa hapa kwa muda atujue atafungiwa kwa, kwa muda wa kiasi gani lakini uh, wengi wao wamekuwa kishikwa kutoka mjini wale ambao wanaandamana wakileta hapa na magari ya polisi na tutakuwa tu macho tuone kama ifikia kwa jioni watakuwa wameachiliwa ama bado ila sasa maskari wanatueleza kwamba ni hali ito kupunguza waandamanaji walio jijini Nairobi kwa kuchukua wengi wao wanafungiwa hapa na tunafuatilia tu kujua kama wataachiliwa huru baadaye ama watalala hapa hadi kesho yake lakini kwa sasa kabla sijarudi kwako uh, yeri ni kwamba uh, tutakuwa tunafuatilia kujua kama uh, wabunge uh, opio wandai pamoja na stewart sana sana watu mazayo ambao uh, tunarefua kwa makao ya DCI wataachiliwa huru ama bado watakuwa uh, watakuwa wanafungiwa pale lakini maandamano ya Nairobi bado yanaendelea um, uh, kuna vuta ni kuvute kati ya polisi pamoja na waandamanaji wa azimio tukisubiri tu kama Raila Odinga anajitokeza kuongoza wafuasi wake hadi makao ya uh, mak uh, makao ya state house kwa kwa yeri Asante sana huyo ni Belden wale ule ambaye yupo katika kituo cha polisi cha Central pale akiweza kufuatilia ni kina nani wale ambao wamefikishwa pale lakini kulingana na vile anavyotoarifu ni kwamba huenda upio andai na baadhi ya viongozi wengine wamepelekwa katika makao makuu ya DCI kuweza kuhojiwa kule na hawajafahamu wapo watakuwa wanapelekwa mahakamani baadaye ama ni kipi ambacho kitakuwa kinajiri lakini pia wataelekea kule DCI kuweza kuwasikiza viongozi wengine ambao pia wameelekea kule na vile vile pia tunatarajia kikao cha azimio katika bunge la kitaifa ambapo pia watakuwa wanapeana taarifa yao kuhusiana na hali ilivyo leo kwa sababu wengi tayari wamekuwa kilalamika kwamba wamenyimwa haki yao ya kufanya maandamano. Nirudi kwako nilikukata ukiendelea na kauli zako. Uh, labda uendelee hapa nilipokuwa umeachia. Asante. Na katika katiba yetu ya Kenya ambayo wa Kenya walipigia kura mwaka 2010 na, ku, na kumi, mm -hmm. katika kipengee cha 37 kinapatia mkenya yote uhuru wa kuweza kuandamana ama kupiket ama you know demonstration ili kupeleka waraka katika afisi moja ama nyingine ya kiserikali ili suala moja ama lingine liweze kutatuliwa na katika siku ya leo ambayo kilele chake kitakuwa kujitokeza kwa kinara wa azimio bwana Raila Odinga uh, tumeona baadhi ya viongozi ambao wale wanaanzisha mchakato huu ili kuweza ku patia taswira ya kwamba siku ya leo bado iko imara na iko jinsi azimio walivyoidhania na wamekabiliana na vikosi vya serikali ambavyo si haba vya usalama ili kuweza kutawanya makundi ambayo yanajikusanya kuweza kuandamana na serikali haijataka kuchukulia uh, hamnazo swala kama hili kwa sababu matamsha ambayo viongozi wa, wa azimio baadhi yao wamekuwa kitoa ni kwamba tunaenda katika jumba la KICC alafu tuende katika iku 
school ya Nairobi e, ili tupeleke waraka ama tuende tumtoe rais William Ruto katika <laughs> katika state house unaona matamshi kama hayo serikali inaichukulia na uzito kwa sababu uh, kwa njia moja au nyingine yanamaanisha kitu ambacho kisichokuwa kinaambatana na sheria na taratibu za taifa letu na yeri ukinikubalia ni ya kwamba siku ya leo si haina msingi wake katika gharama ya maisha msingi wake ni katika uchaguzi ambao likamilika mwaka 2022 kwa sababu kwa kwa siku nyingi Raila Odinga amekuwa akisema kwamba ushindi wake umeibiwa ama alinyang'anywa ushindi uh, uh, tume ya uchaguzi na mipaka haikufuata taratibu na sheria katika kutangaza yule ambaye alishinda ambaye ni naibu uh, ni William Ruto na ikiwa swala hili la uchaguzi litaweza kutatuliwa vizuri hatungekuwa tumefikia kwa siku kama ya leo lakini pia pia tuseme kwamba taifa letu la Kenya ikilinganishwa na mataifa mengine uh, barani Afrika limepiga hatua sana katika juhudi za kuweza kuainisha uh, na kuweka taratibu ambazo uh, ni za wazi na uhuru katika masuala ya uchaguzi uh, yeri wacha ni kuambie nikiketi hapa kama mkenya mwenzako Eh, wa Kenya wengi tumekubaliana ya kwamba kulikuwa na 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 na, na, na namna ambayo tulipewa kikatiba ya kuangalia mambo ya, ki, ya uchaguzi. Tulikuwa tumeambiwa vizuri sana kukiwa na shida ya uchaguzi, basi wewe uta, uta, utaenda uende kwa koti upatiwe uamuzi na koti uje sasa ujue ni nani aliyeshinda na nani alibwagwa. Lakini sasa bwana Raila muda ulikuja akapewa nafasi hiyo hakufanya lolote miezi saba ikakuja ikakwisha na sasa saa hizi ndo anajaribu tena kufungua upya mambo ya kufungua sava utaambiaje mumkenya sasa hivi ya kwamba mambo ya sava sasa ndo yanafaa ya kufunguliwa wakati huu mm -hmm. wakati wa kufungua sava ulikuwa pale mwezi wa tisa huko Septemba wakati tulikuwa tunaangalia na koti iliulizwa swala la kufungua sava wakapewa nafasi waende wakague ile sava wakakagua wakapata matokeo yao na wakanyamaza sasa kuja kuleta mambo hayo hapa sasa ni, ni kutatanisha wa Kenya na kuwafanya wasiwe katika ule e, ile 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 <coughs> hali ya kwenda kutafuta kazi na kujitafutia wao kama wananchi ili kuweza kujilisha wakiwa vile walivyo Uh, kuna swala lingine Raila amejaribu kuleta uh, kando na uchaguzi ni pia ni swala la wale makamishna wa IBC. Mm -hmm. Imagine uh, Raila anatuambia wakati huu ya kwamba uh, Rais Ruto anafaa kurudisha wale cherera nne wale walikuwa wanaitwa komishna wa nne ambao waliojiuzulu. Mm -hmm. Mtu akijiuzulu mambo yake yamekwisha. Kwa hivyo sasa kuanza kusema wacha tuwarudishe na iwapo kama tunaenda kuchagua kamishna wengine basi mambo hayo lazima yafanywe vile mimi ninataka yafanywe na kutofautiana na vile sheria ambayo imesema makamishna wapya wanafaa kufanywa hayo ni mambo yanaweza zungumzwa kando hakuna haja ya maandamano wewe keti chini andika waraka wako usalimishe pale bunge waweze kuiangalia na wajue vile watakavyofanya kwangu mimi naona mwito huu wa maandamano haujaenda na uja batana na ile haja mwananchi yako nayo. Ukiuliza mwananchi kwa undani shida ambayo inamkumba ni ipi? Atasema ndiyo e, kuna gharama juu ya maisha, mambo yamekuwa magumu na hayo mambo wanaweza kuyasalimisha vyema kama wangekuwa ni kiongozi ambaye ni wa haki ama wa e, genuine kama Raila Odinga, basi angeanza kuyazungumza hayo mambo na kuleta matokeo ya wakenya hivyo kwa rais e, e, William Ruto wazungumze ili kusaidia mkenya. Lakini haya mambo mengine kwa sababu alishindwa ndo sasa anatumia nafasi hii ili kuanzisha maandamano na kufanya uh, inchi ikae katika hali ya utata sio jambo la na, na wazo ambalo linasaidia nchi hii yetu ya Kenya na ndio maana unapata wa Kenya wengi wale ambao wanafuata mambo haya azimio ni wale labda kidogo tu waliamua watafuata Raila pahali popote atakapoenda akiwa ameanguka ameanguka chini wataenda naye hivyo hivyo paka huko mwisho lakini wa Kenya wengine bado wanasema kwa, kwa, kwa sasa watatulia nyumbani wafanye kazi yao kwa hivyo mwekesi hauoni hili taifa kama kwa hali inayoendelea taifa hili limegawanyika katika sehemu mbili au tatu sehemu ambao hawa watu ambao unajaribu kusema kwamba wamemfuata ni kumaanisha kwamba wao ni wafasi wake kinda kindaki ndio maana wamekuja naye leo kutokeza naye kuja kufanya maandamano na pia kuna wale ambao wamekaa nyumbani ama wameenda kazini kwa sababu wao labda walimpigia rais William Ruto na kuna wale milioni nane ambao hawakupiga kura mahali popote ndio lakini sasa niulize 
e, wewe kama kiongozi ya makinara kama waazimio ndio kuna wafuasi wako sugu ambao wamesema ya kwamba sisi tulishindwa na tunakubaliana naye ni ni, ni kukata kidogo nataka nikupeleke katika makao ya bunge la kitaifa ambapo wabunge wa azimio wanatoa taarifa yao kuhusiana na hali ilivyokuwa kuanzia asubuhi ambapo baadhi yao wamekamatwa na maafisa wa polisi hebu tusikilize to undertake peaceful demonstrations across the country uh, this morning we have received reports of successful demos in every major town in the Republic of Kenya what we have however want to condemn is the interference of police in the exercise of what is a constitutional right <clears throat> our mandamano has been peaceful it was scheduled to be peaceful but we have seen police interference in the mandamano these members who are here some of them have been assaulted we have been tear gassed you have seen it we have uh, some of our members being arrested uh, across the country as we speak now as we speak now uh, honorable uh, Stuart Mazayo who is a minority leader in the senate and honorable Pio Andai who is uh, the minority leader in the national assembly are uh, in police custody and they have committed no crime other members of parliament as well including Amina Mnyazi Ken Chonga from Kilifi all of them have been arrested for absolutely no crime now if you look at me you will notice that I'm wearing a different shirt because they are trying to arrest me uh, personally and you can see uh, they try to strangle me in the streets you can see this this is uh, uh, inflicted by a, a police officer who was trying to arrest me and he went away with my blue t-shirt which I, I want to ask him just return it to me yeah. because it has sentimental value yeah, I would like to have my uh, my shirt back so what we want to condemn is the use of police force brute police force on peaceful demonstrators and we said we do not want police to interfere with us if they would have allowed, allowed us to conduct the mandamano in which in the manner in which we had uh, anticipated by you now we would have uh, gotten to state house to memalizana and state house yeah. and the country resumes uh, normal operations yes. but what they are doing now because now they are forcing us to take health breaks we are on a health break as we speak yeah. they will be phase two in the afternoon they should yeah. be prepared for us because we will never be cowed and even after this because they have not allowed us to conduct the mandamano we wanted we are going to be issuing further directions on future mandamano including as soon as this week because we must be allowed to conduct our affairs as a minority and as a leadership in this country yeah. i want to allow uh, the minority deputy minority leader uh, honorable wambua to also say something and then honorable mbui and then uh, honorable junet then we'll have one or two ladies and then we will call the nairobi leadership starting with babu wino uh thank you very much uh sg i yes i just want to reiterate what um senator sifuna said that it was very clear from the beginning that the azimio one kenya alliance had uh, planned for very peaceful demonstrations none of us was armed when we went into the demonstrations none of our people across the country were armed but the police have taken it upon themselves to disrupt very peaceful demonstrations i want to make it very clear that this week or next week we shall be at it again until they listen to what kenyans are saying and we have made it very clear that this is not about us it's not even about our principles this is about every kenyan who has found the cost of living unbearable including even those who voted for uda the very few that voted for uh, uda they are also suffering the police officers themselves are suffering and so it's a big shame that police officers are taking up arms against people who are fighting for them we are fighting for the police officers we are fighting for every kenyan that is suffering today these demonstrations will continue until the message gets home so they should be prepared they will have i want to conclude by saying these police officers and this illegitimate government will not have enough bullets to kill all of us Correct. they will not have enough cells to put us they just have to listen to what we are saying because we are speaking for this country i thank uh, you Bumbui. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I just want to condemn in the strongest terms possible what has happened today and echo what my, the other leaders have said. Uh, the reports we are getting is that uh, out of the brutality of the police, uh, it is possible that uh, we may have lost lives. Yeah. We have been categorical from the first day that we want peaceful uh, demonstrations. And I want to say that uh, it, is not, it is not us as, uh, as a meal. 
It was not even us when we were in NASA. It is always the police that actually come with violence. Correct. You remember in 2017 when we had very peaceful demonstrations receiving Baba from the airport and the regime was saying no and they ended up fighting us and some of us were shot and they even broke some of us. It's unfortunate and that has to be condemned. Let them allow dialogue so that we can be able to move this country forward because that is what we want. We want to be heard. Thank you. Just one question. Where is Raila Odinga in all this? Uh, let's let 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 inahitaji mabadiliko kulingana na vile mambo iko katika nchi yetu leo kila sehemu ya nchi hii watu hawajaenda kazi watu wanaandamana hiyo ni dhihirisho ya kwamba watu wana shida watu wana matatizo na wanahitaji hiyo matatizo kutatuliwa ya pili tunataka hii wale viongozi wetu ambao wameshikwa minority leader ya senate na minority leader ya, 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 ya national assembly wawachiliwe unconditionally tunapatia serikali ambayo wanametumia polisi kwa njia ambayo haifai wawachilie kwa masaa mawili in two hours those leaders must be released unconditionally la sivyo mambo yatakuwa mbaya zaidi ya tatu na ya mwisho ni ya kwamba mimi nataka kusema hivi nchi hii ni ya wakenya wote na polisi wajue ya kwamba inafaa watumikie wakenya wote sio wakenya wachache kwa sababu vile polisi wametumika leo njia hii maandamano zinafanyika dunia nzima kuna maandamano endelee huko Faransa kuna maandamano endelee huko Uingereza kuna maandamano endelee South Africa kuna maandamano endelee Nigeria kuna maandamano endelee huko Tunisia but the most violent one is in Kenya just because, because it is perpetuated by the state by the police so this culture must come to an end one culture that must end with this maandamano of 2022 is police brutality in Kenya This one must end so that the next mandamanos of 2027 and 2032 and 2055 we have peaceful mandamano in Kenya. That is why the constitution under article 37 they have allowed Kenyans to picket and demonstrate. What is the the police supposed to provide security? Look at the way they were behaving at in front of KICC. KICC is not a police station. KICC is a public property. It was built using Kenyan taxpayers money. Anyone has access to it. Anyone can use it for anything. You can even go and sleep there if you want. Please. This is the beginning of the I think today was just a rehearsal. The real one is coming. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. Uh Rene and then uh, Gogo, just come here. Yes, yes. Uh, thank you very much. I just want to say number one that uh, police are being misused in this process as we speak right now they they have withdrawn security for all the MPs and all the senators and we want to tell them even if you withdraw our security uh, wananchi will still protect us and we'll all still fight for the th the things that are affecting Kenyans secondly there are some people who are saying that uh, we uh, when baba declared today a, a public holiday that he should have done a gazette notice i want to tell you that baba himself is a human gazette notice yes. if he says today is a day that we are out there fighting for kenyans for the things that kenyans deserve then we are out there and this is not the end of it so i just want to urge everyone even the people uh, uh, back at home in gusi let us join together and let us fight for this country uh, thank you very much uh, members of the press i just want to say that uh, This is uh, uh, just a test of it. We are going to do this as long as Baba says we, we fire. And uh, the way it is as it were, I really want to empathize with the position of our armed officers, the police officers who are in plain clothes, harassing wananchi. And I want to tell them because I saw one officer, Akirusha Tiagas na Kanguka. This officer must have been very hungry. If we are hungry as Kenyans, it's not only leaders who are hungry, it's not wanaichi who are hungry. It is all Kenyans, including the officers. And I want to tell our officers, we are fighting for you. We are fighting for you to be even given money so that you run your families. So leave us alone. This is what we are paid to be, to be in opposition. We don't intend to get anywhere else and we will not get tired. All Azimio leadership is here. And somebody who is asking about where Baba is, Baba is coming. 
Baba is coming and we are going to join it and it's going to be lit by a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Babu. Asante ni sana. First, I want to condemn the arbitrary arrest of our leaders. And uh, as we speak, our minority leader, Honorable Wandai, has been taken to Kiambu. We don't know what they want to do to him at Kiambu. Number two, I condemn the killing of our supporters, the killings of our supporters. As we speak, somebody has been shot at Jakaranda, Embakasi East constituency, and two people killed at Kibra constituency. Ruto, you talked about not using, misusing, and abusing the police. But what are we seeing as at now? And I want to tell you that this is just the beginning. We shall not relent. We are coming. This is just the beginning. And the police, I want to congratulate you because at least now you are using the taxpayers' money wisely. Please buy more tear gas. We need them. Kwanza ya leo ilikuwa tamu sana. Na bado tuna prepare. We will not relent just because of tear gas and bullets. We will fight back. If you fight us, we will fight back. The police wamekuwa na shida hata kushinda wananchi. Na nyinyi you are being misused. And I want to tell you that what we are planning, because today is just a rehearsal, what we are planning is better imagined than experienced. We will be holding demonstrations on a weekly basis. Asante. Uh, the leader of uh, majority in the Nairobi County Assembly. Just briefly, please. Uh, mine is just to say thank you to the honorable members of parliament, the honorable MCS and entire Nairobi, the leadership of Nairobi, and most of our people have come. We're also just getting a report our MCA for high rise, Honorable Tatua Yugi. He's been arrested. Another one from Dandora. But we are saying we're not relenting. To our command forces on the ground, I want to advise that take a picture of any police or a video of any police beating a Mwanainchi, any police harassing a Mwanainchi, any police using a life bullet or, ballo, or, or bullet, uh, rubber bullets, so that we have evidence. This country has a law. We want to take a police as an individual because you work for this country, you took an oath of office as an individual. And you're going to take responsibility to ensure we are giving a WhatsApp page where you see any police who has beaten a monainchi without any... Pro By the way, these people are picketing. They are not causing a problem to a police officer. They are doing for their own good and for the good of this country. So we have not offended any police. Any police taking a bullet or aiming at a monainchi, take a video of him and you are giving a WhatsApp page 0720-579-662. That number is 0720-579-662. Send that video of that particular police there. Our lawyers, our teams will take him head on as an, as, as an individual. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. No, we don't have Maswali, please. Mm. No question. The no only question. question we can give you is we, don't, we do not want a dictatorship in this country. We will not allow dictatorship in this country. I sat with one William Samoe Ruto in the Parliamentary Select Committee and is the one who moved the amendment on Article 37 that allows picketing. It cannot work when it's uh, outside government and does not work when it's government. And we want to tell him we will not tire, we will not relent, na tuko hapa, na tutaendelea. The other thing is we want to tell you that everybody has a right to legal counsel. Sai ni mekimbia ni meenda central police station when we have heard that our people are arrested, the police are refusing me a senior lawyer from getting into the police station. What do they think lawyers go to school to do? We will not allow dictatorship in this country. Na waji pange tutapambana na tutakimbiana. Bila shaka hao ni viongozi wa azimio la umoja wakeza kutoa tarifa yao kusiana na hali ilivokuwa kuanzia asubuhi mwendo wa saa na mbili ambapo maandamano hayo yelianza katika baadhi ya maeneo humu nchini katika kaunti ya Kisumu, Nairobi na vile vile katika baadhi ya kaunti kama vile Kakamega lakini kuna baadhi ya kaunti ambazo hakujaonekana kitu chochote lakini hapa jiji ni Nairobi viongozi ambao walikuwa wanaendelea ama wanajaribu kushiriki katika maandamano hayo wengine wao wamekamatwa viongozi wa wachache katika bunge la sine na bunge la kitaifa opio andai na mwanzake stio watimazayo wamekamatwa na wameshikwa na wamezuiliwa katika kituo cha polisi na kama ulivyosikia wanasema kwamba hawajapewa nafasi ya kuweza kuwaona ama kuwapatia uh, wanasheria uweze kuwalinda katika uh, katika uh, hali ile ambao wako nayo sasa hivi yale yalizungumzwa na chama hiki cha azimio 
umeyasikiliza vizuri kengoli kwako unatoa kipi pale malalamishi yao ni halali malalamishi yao ni halali kwa sababu wanazungumzia mambo ya gharama ya maisha lakini ni sema kwamba hakuna serikali yoyote ambayo yaweza kunyorosha ama kulainisha gharama ya maisha kwa siku ambazo serikali ya Kenya kwanza tawala imekuwa katika mamlaka ngawaje kuna maamuzi kadhaa ambayo serikali yaweza kuweka uh, in place ili kuweza kurudisha kujaribu kurudisha gharama ya maisha ambayo hadi kufikia sasa haijafanya lakini uh, ni sema kwamba serikali hii ikipewa muda na ukitazama mchakato ama mkondo ambao rais William Ruto ameuchukua ni ule wa kukuza uchumi ama ku empower production sio maneno ya subsidy yeye ameondoa uh, ruzuku kwa sababu amesema kwamba ruzuku kiuchumi haiwezi kuistahimilika so ni kwamba kama wakulima amesema kwamba tutawapatia mbolea tutawapatia mbegu katika bei nafuu ili mweze kukuza mimea ndiposa taifa liweze kuwa na chakula ingekuwa kwa njia moja ama nyingine angeweka ruzuku katika tuseme maindi uh, jinsi ambavyo serikali uh, iliyopita ya uhuru kenyata ilivyojaribu kufanya lakini akasema kwamba mambo ya ruzuku haistahimiliki kiuchumi na katika njia nyingine uh, maandamano kama haya yana yana mingiliano ya maswala tofauti tofauti yao ya kidiplomasia yao ya kiinchi kawaida kwa sababu wakati ambapo tuna maandamano kama haya uchumi hauwezi hau, hau kupiga hatua unapata kwamba hata kutengeneza zile nafasi za ajira vijana waweza kupata inakuwa ni ngumu Una, na mambo haya yanaelekea kwa mataifa ya kigeni uh, yaweze kuingilia maswala unapata kwamba wanamtafuta rais William Ruto wanamwekea uh, uh, pressure yaweze ku kweli situation irudi kuwa sawa lakini ni uhuru wa kila mkenya kuweza kushiriki maandamano kushinikiza serikali kuweza kutengeneza ama kutoa uamuzi mmoja ama nyingine ambayo italainisha uh, uh, mkondo wa maisha na nikimalizia yeri katika swala hilo ni sema kwamba Raila Odinga jinsi tunavyomjua ni mtu ambaye akiamua kuchukua mkondo kama huu hataurudi nyuma na viongozi wa azimio wameongea hapa wakaanza kutishia kwamba kutakuwa na maandamano ya kila wiki tuseme mara moja kwa wiki ama mara mbili kwa wiki na hii iko na athari za kiuchumi kwa kiasi kikubwa kwa sababu wakati ambapo maandamano haya yanaendelea kwa wakati huu biashara katika jiji kula Nairobi na katika miji ambayo uh, maandamano haya yameshuhudiwa haiezi kuna wiri haiwezi kufanyika napata kwamba tunakadiria hasara kubwa katika taifa letu la Kenya kwa siku kama hii hautaki ku Uh, kukuja katika ile wakati ambapo tuna maandamano aina haya mara mbili kwa wiki ama mara moja kwa sababu sasa taifa letu yafali pige hatua za kiuchumi lakini yafaa vile vile tuwe na taasisi za serikali ambazo ziko zinawajibika unajua isikuwe taasisi moja ama nyingine ina sheria nyingi kushinda zingine ya kwamba waweza kutumia uh, nguvu kupita kiasi kwa waandamanaji na kwa sababu ukitazama taswira ya maandamano ya siku ya leo azimio wanashinda kwa sababu walikuwa wametarajia polisi kuweza kuwazuia na kuwapigia vito za machozi kuweza kutumia bunduki uh, live bullets na hiyo ni matarajio ya azimio na kwa sababu watakuwa wanakuja waseme kwamba polisi wanatupiga wanatumia nguvu nyingi kupita kiasi ila hali sisi tulikuwa na maandamano ya amani na katika taifa letu la Kenya ni ni, ni, ni nadra sana kuweza kupata maandamano ambayo hayana haya mvurutano mmoja ama nyingine ya, ya taasisi za serikali haswa zile za polisi so polisi wangekuwa wanawapatia wanaazimio nafasi yao bila kuwazuia siku hii ingekuwa ilishakamilika hadi kufikia sasa lakini mm. kwa sababu ya mvutano moja ama nyingine unapata kwamba hii itaendelea na itaendelea kuwapatia wanaazimio nguvu ya kuweza kushinikiza serikali kurudisha gharama ya maisha chini kuweza kushinikiza serikali kurudisha uh, kutengeneza hali ya uchaguzi iwe ya uhuru na haki <coughs> jinsi wanavyo wanavyokusudia ama wanavyoitaka kwa kuwewe ukikaa ukile ume ngamua nini Eh, Suleiman kwanza niseme kwamba nimebabaika sana kwa sababu sasa inaonekana ya kwamba eh, hali hii itaweza kuenezwa kwa muda mrefu kuliko vile tulikuwa tunadhania ya kwamba wanaweza kuwa nataka kumaliza haya mambo na siku moja. Mm -hmm. eh, mtangoja kuona vile eh, polisi watakavyo 
uh, angalia masuala ya maandamano haya katika jioni uh, hii ya leo lakini ingekuwa ni vyema kama rais uh, William Ruto wakati huu angechukua nafasi kuzungumza na Raila Odinga na muambie kwa sababu tumejua hali ya mambo kina cha mambo hayo yote ni siasa tu na Raila kwake mujibu wake ni kujaribu kutumia wanasiasa na viongozi ili kuweza kufanya yale ambayo anayataka yeye kwa kibinafsi ili kurudishwa wa, wa, ushindi wake ambao anausema aliupata na pili labda kuhakikisha kwamba watu wake wamewekwa katika lile tume la IBC ili kuweza kuhakikisha mambo yake yanaangaliwa vizuri 2027 kwa mujibu ya mambo hayo yote basi ingekuwa ni vyema na swala bora iwapo rais Uhuru eh, William Ruto angeketi chini aite kongamano la kisiasa na viongozi hawa waazimio watafute siku yao moja waketi waende mahali sisi kama wakenya tuwapatia nafasi waende wakatafute mahali waende waketi wazungumze kwa muda wa siku mawili matatu waje watupatie suluhu lakini wawachane na hao wakenya wetu wakenya hawa wetu wanatumika vibaya na viongozi tofauti hao umeona wabunge wameenda kujificha pale bungeni wanaincho kikula tia gas pale katika eneo la kibera kule na sio vyema wananchi wanakula tia gas wakati wabunge wameketi wamenyamaza wakiwa uko ndani wakizungumzia wanahabari na kusema yale wanaweza sema wakijua wenzao huko wana, wanakula mabunduki na marisasi. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo ni vyema basi suluhu ya mambo haya yote Raila Odinga ashuke pali yuko na ma, ya ma, mwito wake wa kuitisha maandamano akiaombwa aombe nafasi na William Ruto waketi chini watafute siku tatu waende huko ajivinjari mahali tutawakubali waende Zanzibar wakitaka kwenda Zanzibar basi waende waketi chini kule Taita tunazo hoteli za kutosha waende pale waketi wazungumze watupe suluhu sisi kama wananchi wawachane na wananchi wafanye kazi yao waende shuleni wafanye biashara zao ili tuweze kukuza uchumi tukiendelea na maandamano hayo hata siku mbili ama tatu zingine uchumi huu utazoroteka uta na tutarudi eh, kwema eh, hivi karibuni na itakuwa ni jambo la kuhuzunisha sana Asante sana Steven Mwakesi na vile vile Edwin Kegoli kwa kutenga wasa wenu adhuri hii kuja kutufa fanulia masuala haya na vile vile tumeza kuelewa yale ambao wamewasema athari za maandamano haya na je atakuwa na 